Hello, my beautiful souls. I am the Awakened Dreamer, and I'm here to give you your daily tarot reading for Saturday, November the 21st. And I do want to, of course, take this moment to express my gratitude and appreciation for all of your likes and comments and subscriptions, as always. And I meditated on the energy overall for the day, and the message that came through was try to relax. Try to relax. I feel like it's going to be a very simple day overall, but very loud at the very least around you. So let's get started. Let's first pull a message or two from the Work Your Light Oracle deck. What do we have for the collective for Saturday, November the 21st? Thank you, Spirit, to begin this daily read. All right, we've got three. We have uh, Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity. It feels like, given it's a very loud day, even if you're not feeling loud yourself, uh, it does seem like you're reminded in one way, shape or form in whatever situation you're put in that you are somebody who uplifts humanity, uplifts other people around them, uh, whoever around you, whoever you encounter, you might have somebody who seems a little down or a little bit angry or frustrated or just dealing with something in an unproductive way and it feels like you affect that situation in a beautiful way wow and then we have um yes just say yes it feels like a soul connection may offer you to facetime or uh text or talk on the phone or get together it feels like something you need to say yes to it may be a job offer something bigger like that but there's an offer of some sort, whether it's big or small, you're being told to say yes to. Keep that in mind. Oh, also, yeah, say yes to relaxing. Try to relax, my friend. You've been working really hard. And then we have awakening, energetic upgrades, a new way of being, integration. And it feels like, I mean, this is just a very relaxed image here. But it feels like in the upcoming days, in, like, in the upcoming weeks, you'll be able to upgrade your energy. It does feel like you're getting excited for new changes and new fresh starts, or just one fresh start. But at the very least, just be one with this new way of being, even if your environment isn't changed completely just yet. Ooh, interesting. But it does feel like we as a collective are going through an energetic upgrade nonetheless. Let's continue by pulling four tarot cards for the day. As always, some shuffling. One more shuffle. All right, Spirit, what do we have to continue this daily read for Saturday the 21st? Love it. Keep them coming. Thank you, Spirit. They're shooting out in the same direction. Same color scheme. And they want me to just pull the last two from the top of the deck. In advance, sorry about any noise in the background with the planes and people in the background. few more days in this noisy environment and things will be changing for me. All right, so we're starting off with the King of Wands. So you start off the day feeling, you know, kind of in your power, feeling like the leader you are. Maybe spirit or the universe comes through your guides in one way, shape or form to remind you of how much of a leader you truly are, how much of an impact you have on those people around you or how much of an impact you have on a certain community whether it's online or in just a physical community love it and it's side by side with this awakening card and it feels like a lot of us are awakening to our true powers within on a soul level awakening to our true purpose in life and how we can truly affect other people and this is a huge part of our energy our energetic upgrade you know, upgrading to the more powerful version of us that sort of vibrates and glows 
and affects the lives of others, which we had also talked about down here, but it's aligned with the Awakening card. Moving right along, we have the Ten of Wands. So the first half of the day starts to wrap up and it feels like you have a lot on your shoulders. And I feel like a situation leaves you feeling more burdened than it, you need to be. Or it just might feel like, again, you're preparing for a situation or a change or an adjustment. And it can feel like a lot. But now this is also coming through is a very mental kind of burden. A lot on your mind. Your mind may be racing this day even though it's a very simple day where it's meant to be. And so they're reminding you that as it, the overall message says, try to relax, try to simplify your mind. Truly an important day to meditate. You know, it may not be easy for a lot of you and it does take practice to get into the habit of doing so, but it will definitely help you to simplify, clear your mind of the chaos. If you can't fully control the chaos that's happening around you given the loud part of the day. At the very least, try to make sure your mind isn't feeling loud. And then we're moving on to the Empress card to start the second half of the spread slash day. And it feels like you have this creative idea that just pops into your head. And we forget at times that that is our spirit guide. Our spirit guides being like, here you go, my friend. Take this, run with it. You know, even if you can't implement it just yet, like right now, down the line, they want you to you know, implement it into your life, put it into reality to enhance your situation in one way, shape, or form. And it's aligned with this King of Wands, and I feel like it's another idea that will help you become the leader that you're meant to be in this lifetime, you know, part of your, your destined purpose. And it's now also coming through as giving birth to a new life for yourself, giving birth to a change, an adjustment that's going to better your life, make it healthier for you, which is very much aligned with you becoming the leader that you're meant to be in this time, in this lifetime. And so I'm going to start with the Ple Pleiades card, excuse me. And I feel like you giving birth to this new life is going to help you and make it 10 times easier for you to uplift those in your life or those people who are connected to you through your job or whatever the case is for you, which is beautiful. What a good reading so far. And then we're ending with the Fool card. Sorry if this feels rushed. Again, it's just very difficult to do readings in this location. But so you end the day with the full card, feeling very free. I do feel like feeling very relaxed. You can taste uh, this fresh start. You can taste sort of these changes that are in the midst. Even if, you know, like the reading was saying for Friday, you just have a little bit longer to, uh, to wait or to deal with something that's not ideal. But it's like you're reminded at some point uh, in the second half of the day or maybe even throughout the entire day that things are improving for you. That you have so much to look forward to. It may also feel like the spotlight's on you in one way, shape, or form, even if you don't want it to be. But I think, honestly, you're going to be reminded that when the spotlight's on you, you sort of shine. And that you are meant to be in the spotlight, even if you're more of a hermit on a normal basis, even if you're more of an introvert. Wow, interesting. And that might be part of the, the energetic upgrade and the changes. You might become more of an extrovert. You might become more of somebody who is accustomed to being in the spotlight. I mean, you might also be used to the spotlight, but for those of you who aren't. And it just might make you feel like at the end of the day, you're finishing off on a very high note, uh, which could make it harder for you to relax but truly do what you can because there are only so many days in, you know, that if you've had this week, I feel, where you could actually truly relax because there's been so much to accomplish. And it's aligned with this Ten of Wands. And I feel like you it's great because you go from ending the first half where you feel very burdened to the second half feeling a bit more free. You know, I feel like you do a good job from that point to this point of clearing your mind of some stressful thoughts and, and whatnot. And so as the day goes along, remember to try and relax, try to do what you can to simplify your mind and be one with the changes and the simplicity of the day and try to quiet that loudness uh, in your mind and around you. Always just do your best. Now with that said and done, once again, I more than appreciate all of your likes, 
comments, and subscriptions. Hope this reading was truly helpful. More importantly, I hope you have the most amazing Saturday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.